It's been a tough week for skiers, with temperatures soaring well above freezing, making coated ski runs hard to find. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is live at our Franklin County Bureau with a look at snowmaking operations at Berkshire East. Yeah, temperatures just too warm for snow this week, forcing Berkshire East Mountain Resort to shut down entirely. But thanks to some favorable weather and their state-of-the-art snowmaking operation, they're hoping to have a comeback this weekend. A family-owned resort, um, you know, that does impact the bottom line, absolutely. Fog, rain, and 40-plus degrees. Not good ingredients for skiing. Berkshire East Mountain Resort forced to close for three days this week as unseasonable temperatures continue. Now, ski resorts do have the ability to make their own snow to bridge the gap during unseasonable stretches of weather like this. Berkshire East doing their best to keep up, but it has to be perfect conditions, even for their state-of-the-art system. The point is around 28 degrees Fahrenheit, and for that we need um, the dew point, humidity, uh, and temperature, of course, to all be at the sweet spot. Nathan added they can keep making snow all the way up to 32 degrees, and it's efficient too. Also, we were the first mountain in the world to produce all of our electricity on site. So we have a wind turbine and also a solar array at the summit. And all the water pumped up the mountain to snowmakers positioned to cover 100% of their trails. That said, just because it isn't snowing or below freezing at your house doesn't mean it's a bad day out on the mountain. We've got, you know, higher elevation. We're about 1,750 feet at the summit. Mm -hmm. So being higher up, uh, we have colder temperatures and, you know, we can make snow. Whereas at home, you know, you may have nothing. With some natural snow on the way, on Charlemont's way, excuse me, overnight, they're hoping to open for full capacity on Friday, and they hope to start remaking their own snow Saturday night. Working for you live in the Franklin County Bureau, Duncan McLean, 22 News.